What the? Huh. guys, Traffers of Doom here, and now that I can apparently change into a unicorn, I think it's time for... INCOMING! Gah! Oh, my head. Okay, who are you and why are you on my channel? I'm Gale Twister. I came from Arrow Dragon 2's channel. He caught wind, her her her, that you're doing a theory video and wanted to help. Oh, well, uh, I was originally going to do another music countdown, but that sounds like fun. Great! This'll blow your fans away! Haha! <laughs> <laughs> the pun shall never die! Uh, why do all my friends make puns? And my own channel is poking fun at the hypocrisy. Great. So, what theory should we do? Might as well get this started. So, a question for your girls' friendship games. I love this movie, it was amazing, but there was something that got me thinking. When Twilight unleashed the magic stored in her device, she basically became corrupted and became Midnight Sparkle. Now most people would think ultimate power ultimately corrupts, but Sunset used that very same magic and she became an Archangel. So I wondered, why did Twilight become Midnight? I thought about it a bunch and came up with two theories which I share with Triforce here. The first of these theories is that magic has both positive and negative sides. I really like this theory. As for the second theory... That theory is that magic can be influenced by emotion. This one is my preferred theory. Looking at the first theory, notice how Twilight absorbs the magic from the rest of the Humane Six. She forcibly took it from them with her little magic tracker thing, evidenced by how the girls felt completely drained after their magic was removed, even to her surprise. If magic was forced out of you, the raw amount would probably be both powerful and corrupted. Twilight didn't just take a specific aspect, after all. This makes it reasonable that Twilight only took the negative half of their magic. Compare this to when Sunset activated the magic to counter her. She and the rest of the crew actively used their magic with a clear goal. Sunset absorbed the positive half and was able to control her abilities and sanity as a result. When Twilight changed to Midnight, she was tearing holes in reality left and right. There's also the matter of Gloriosa going kind of crazy from using all the magic rocks, not geodes, and ever free at once. Remember kids, magic is part of a balanced breakfast, keyword being balanced. Moving on to theory number two, the idea that magic can be influenced by emotions. When you look at human Twilight, she wasn't a very happy person. Her only real friend was her dog and she struggled with being an outcast. Not to mention after the incredibly chilling dark song, she must have felt incredibly pressured. Forgive me for this comparison, but back to the Imagine a Kingdom Hearts-like scenario here. Her heart was filled with darkness. All those negative emotions, sorrow, loneliness, anxiety. It's not unreasonable to think that when the magic engulfed her, it latched onto those dark emotions and molded her into that dark form. If you look close at Midnight's design, you can see her wings are dark and feathery. That can either be related to ravens, often associated with death, or a fallen angel, a complete opposite to Sunset's archangel form. Also, Legend of Everfree helps to support this theory, as throughout the entire movie, Twilight struggles with keeping Midnight contained. And there's also the matter of a specific line Midnight said. Midnight sparkles a part of you. I'll always be there, waiting in the darkest shadows of your mind. Maybe she wasn't referring to the mind as in the brain. Maybe she was referring to the mind as in her emotions. Maybe those dark emotions were still inside Twilight, manifested in the form of Midnight Sparkle. Both theories have their credences, and I honestly wouldn't be surprised if it was some mix of the two. But like we said, these are just theories. Just a couple of ideas I came up with after thinking about it a bunch. Maybe you have your own theory about Midnight Sparkle, in which case, we'd love to hear about it. Tell us what you think in the comments. Theories like these always make for fun discussions. Oh, uh, thanks for joining me, by the way, Gail. Happy to help. Who knows, I might come back. Till next time, I'm Gail Twister. And this has been the Triforce of Doom. Peace out.